Carson Wentz was traded to the Indianapolis Colts. The Colts received Carson Wentz and the Eagles received the 2021 third round pick and a 2022 conditional second rounder, which will probably turn into a first rounder because if Carson Wentz plays 70% of the snaps for Indianapolis next season, that pick will turn into a first round pick. So the Eagles got a first round pick next year's first round pick and this year's third round pick for Carson Wentz. In my opinion, that's a steal. Let me talk about this trade from both sides. I talk about it from the, I talk about it from the coach side of things first. Carson Wentz is now reunited with Frank Reich. They have a good O line in Indy. They have to get a left tackle still because Anthony Costanzo did retire. They have limited weapons in Michael Pittman and Paris Campbell, but hopefully Zach Pascal resigns and T.Y. Hilton resigns as well, or they get a guy like AJ Green or maybe an Allen Robinson if you want to shoot for the stars, and then. People aren't talking about this, but Philadelphia has talked about cutting Zach Ertz. What if Zach Ertz were to get cut, were to get released, and Philadelphia, I mean, and Indianapolis picks up Zach Ertz, and Zach Ertz reunites with Frank Reich and Carson Wentz in Indianapolis? That would be a dream come true. Carson Wentz going to the Indianapolis Colts is such a steal. The Colts are one quarterback. They're a quarterback away from being a Super Bowl contender. They have a great running game. Jonathan Taylor will be in his second year in the league. He rushed for 1,000 yards last year. They have the, one of the league's best defenses in the NFL. They have to get a left tackle, but I'm sure they will. But they'll still have one of the better offensive lines in the NFL. In the last time, Carson Wentz was working with Frank Reich. Wentz had a 101.9 quarterback rating through 33 touchdowns and seven interceptions and would have won the MVP had he not gotten injured in 2017. I mean, could have you, if you're a Colts fan, you couldn't ask for a better scenario. Maybe if Matthew Stafford would have got traded, that would have been just as good. But the Colts options this offseason going into next year would have been trading for Carson Wentz, trading for Sam Darnold, or re-signing Jacoby Brissett. I think getting Carson Wentz was the best one out of all of them. And Carson Wentz's contract isn't that bad for the Colts. It is for the Eagles. The Eagles ate up $30 million in dead cap, which is the most in NFL history. The Colts next season can cut Carson Wentz and save $6 million. And two years later, they can cut them and save $20 million. So in terms of finances, the Colts aren't really stuck with Carson Wentz at all. If he plays bad, they can move on quickly. If he plays good, they got their franchise quarterback of the future and can still move on whenever they want. Now talking about the Eagles, I mean, what are, what are they going to do now? Is Jalen Hurts going to be the starting quarterback are they going to build a team around Jalen Hurts? I was actually reading somewhere that the Eagles want to bring in competition for Jalen Hurts. Are they going to draft Trey Lance out of North Dakota State? Ironically, the same college that Carson Wentz went to. There are a lot of questions in Philly. Nick Sirianni, former offensive coordinator of the Colts, is now the Eagles head coach. Jonathan Gannon, who was the cornerbacks coach in Indianapolis, is Philadelphia's defensive coordinator. What's happening there? You know, a lot of people are blaming Howie Roseman and he deserves a lot of blame because he's made a lot of questionable decisions. But all in all, these were the two problems with Carson Wentz in Philly and the reason why he had such a bad year. If you guys don't know who Brett Coleman is, I'm pretty sure you guys do if you guys keep up with sports and football. Brett Coleman is... A football savant. He has this show on YouTube called The Film Room where he dissects film of players. And he did one on Carson Wentz. And from the video, what I gathered is that Carson Wentz had two main problems. He liked to play hero ball, which ties in directly to Frank, uh, which ties in directly to Doug Peterson's play calling. And his footwork and mechanics are all over the place. Going into Indianapolis, I think the play calling will be fixed. 
Doug Peterson called a lot of plays knowing that Carson Wentz likes to play hero ball. Doug Peterson called a lot of plays that would put him in position to fail and play hero ball. Frank Reich is more of a conservative play caller, a lot of short stuff, a lot of mesh routes, um, a lot of mesh concepts. So I don't think that'll be a problem there. Um, but the main concern is that is Carson Wentz going to fix his mechanics? Is he going to stop overstriding? Is he going to fix his footwork? Those are question marks, and we'll see what happens. But in my opinion, there was no better place for Carson Wentz to go than the Indianapolis Colts. And I fully believe that he will be fixed in Indianapolis. He will, Carson Wentz will revive his career with the Indianapolis Colts. And if the Colts, they don't even have to get 2017 Carson Wentz. If they can get 2019 Wentz or 2018 Wentz, the Colts can be a sleeper to go to the Super Bowl.